Okay, and up next, let's work on setting up the state value as an object. And before we do anything, let's just see why that would be useful in the first place. Just like we did, for example, with use state. And also in the process, we'll right away utilize whatever we learned in the previous lessons. So here's what I want you to do. Navigate to starter, and then you're looking for use state object. And you know what, let me grab quickly that file here, just so you have it for your reference in the readme over here. And you're looking for 04. And I believe the name was use state object over here. So you want to import that, of course, in the app JSX, you want to navigate to that file. And you want to set up three state values. In my case, it's going to be name, age, and let's say a hobby. Set up all of them with use state, basically one by one, render them, and then create a button. And every time the user clicks the button, invoke a function, which updates all three state values. So as a result, once you click the button, different person is going to be displayed in the browser. So let's say these are my default values, Peter, age is 24 and Peter enjoys reading books. Now, once I click on show John, I'll have John 28 and John enjoys screaming at the computer. And once we have this one in place, we'll refactor to object just so you can see the actual use case. So let's navigate to the object one in the star. And you know what? Pretty sure I can just comment this one out for now. And, uh, I want to go to that file over here. And I already have the use state. So I already imported for you. And effectively, you want to set up those state values. So one by one, so const, let's go in here with name, set name, and that is equal to use state and whatever is the default one. Like I said, in my case, it's going to be Peter, I'll right away, copy and paste, and we want to change some things around where this is not going to be name, it's going to be age. We'll go with set age and this one is going to be number. So let's go with 24. Then we want to go with that hobby. So hobby. And then set hobby. And that one will be equal to well, I guess, let's go with reading books, because that is really nice. So say read books, awesome. So then let's render that. And this is the case where I'm going to use the fragment just so we can jog our memory how we can do that. So that's my fragment. And then heading three, let's go with name, copy and paste. And effectively, I want to set up the rest of them. So one, two, and after that, we'll have the button. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go with heading four here? First one, name, second one, age. And let's add enjoys. Otherwise, scream at the computer might be a bit confusing. So let's say here hobby. And let's right away set up that button. So let's save. Okay, we have initial value. And basically, we want to go here with button, Then we want to go with class name BTN. And we want to add on click. And let's set up a function. So in here, let's go with const display person. First, let's just set up the structure and then we'll worry about the actual logic. So let's say here, display person and I'm going to write here show john since I know that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's say, okay, we have the button and then it's pretty straightforward. If I want to change all of these three values, yes, this is what I'll have to do one by one. I'll go with set and name. What is the name? Well, that is going to be John. And you can probably or guess the other ones. So age, as well as the hobby. So we simply need to change here, age. And this one will be, for example, 28. And then lastly, we have set hobby. And this is where I'll type scream at the computer. So scream at the computer. Okay, good. Now we need to change this one to a hobby, of course. And like I said, it's very straightforward. You have 15 values over here. 
if you have this type of setup where each value has its own handler function, essentially you'll have to call them one by one. And therefore, in the next video, we'll take a look at the object example.